Hello, this is Warner from Warner.TV, and today I want to discuss voice attack and talk about some of the features of it. And uh, the purpose of this video is to give you an understanding of the basics of the program and how to do a simple uh, voice macro trigger. And uh, let me bring up the UI of voice attack so you can see what it is. This is what it looks like. It's just a simple little window. And uh, voice attack is often used for uh, flight simulation programs such as Elite Dangerous and, and, uh, and Star Citizen. So a, a lot of questions I get about this program are, you know, is it part of Elite Dangerous? Is it part of Star Citizen? Voice Attack is available free to download for 21 days. Uh, if you want to keep it, you can pay $8 and license it. Uh, there's, a, there's a certain number of commands you can do on the free version. But uh, it is a really nice way to do things, especially if you want hands-off of uh, hands-off capabilities for some of these things that we do in these games. So first off, let me talk about how it's set up. Everything is stored in a profile. This is how you are able to determine what commands uh, uh, are saved and what they do. All those relationships in terms of triggers and their actions are stored in what's called a profile. And uh, this is how users share their different voice attack configurations. They say, hey, Here's my voice attack profile. I'll have a link to my basic profile in the show description. So here's how it works. You can choose a profile or you can create a new profile uh, simply by, you know, clicking this particular drop down and you'll have a list of profiles that you can choose from. And uh, you can create a new profile here, give it a name. Uh, we'll call it YouTube is awesome. And we're done. Now this profile is called YouTube is awesome. So that's the first thing you want to do is you want to create a profile. So you click the drop down, go to create a profile and do it that way. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to tell it where to send commands. Now by default, it's going to send commands to the active window. But if you've got a certain game that you want to hook into and you only want to hook it into that game, you can choose the game's process list from the send commands to drop down and it'll show up. It'll read that from the active process list. Now, given that the program has not been started yet, you might have to uh, uh, start the program first and then come back to this window and choose it. So let's add a simple program or a simple, uh, let's add a simple command here. And what you do is you go to edit profile. This is how you're gonna add commands to your profile. Um, I'm gonna click new command here at the top. And let me just give you a caveat. I am using the latest beta. This is, uh, Let's get the version number here because you may be watching this in the future or in the past. I don't know if you got a time machine or not. This is Voice Attack 1.5763. This beta was released yesterday. I tend to use the beta copy so that I can uh, test some of the new features and be on the edge of some of the some of the features. So let's do Edit Profile, and I'm gonna do New Command, and this is your particular interface for doing all of the the triggers. Uh, and the actions that you're going to perform. This top part here is are the triggers. So this command is executed when I say, when I press keys or when I press a button. So I can optionally put in a voice command here, like say demo, or I can say when I press a key, let's say I put the key A, or when I say, uh, when I press a button on my joystick, let's say if I hit uh, a particular button on my joystick. I don't know if my joystick is set up for this profile. It's not, so I'll have to set that up later. But these are all the triggers that you can set up for voice attack. So this is like the trigger command. Now, when you watch me play Elite Dangerous, I always say something and then something happens. So for the purposes of this demo, we're gonna use voice recognition. An important thing to remember with voice attack is that the voice recognition is going to be tied to Windows speech recognition engine. So a lot of what is recognized and what is not recognized is a function of that particular function. So what you need to do before you even get started doing a lot of this stuff is you need to train your voice to Windows. And this is done by going to the control panel Um, I believe it's under voice and uh, I believe it's under change text to speech recognition. Yeah, if you go to speech recognition 
or it's, this is the speech properties window. From here, you can do what's called train your profile. Now, if you haven't done this, you might have to create a new profile. And uh, what you do is you train Windows to understand your dialect, your accent for certain words. This is how it's going to know how to recognize what you say. This is very important. I recommend doing this at least two times, but make time for it because it's going to have you read a lot of text and uh, you're going to have to go through a wizard like interface to read a lot of text. Highly recommend you do that. It's going to make your life with voice attack that much easier. All right. So let me make sure my microphone is not muted. I don't think it is. So I was testing something earlier. Okay, so when I say a word, I can do certain things and as an action after that trigger is uh, triggered. So when I say demo, I can have it say a key press or do a key press. And this is common for games like in, um, in Elite Dangerous when I need my landing gear to go up or down. I will do a key press because that's how it's controlled. I can do a mouse click on a certain coordinate. I can do a pause, which is going to be useful when, uh, when I have multiple commands in here. Other or recorder which I can record a series of keystrokes. Now, here is the thing I want to uh, make clear here. This interface that I'm about to show you in about six seconds is the beta interface. And it's much better than what you may see on stable. So when I click other here on the beta, we've got a subset of menus. On your client, you may see a separate window pop up with a list of actions. Um, and this is a much better interface. I, it, may, it may even prompt you to go into the beta. But for purposes of this simple demo, there's a lot of things you can do here. I'm going to create a series of videos, hopefully, uh, in the near future, on how to do a lot of these different things. For the purposes of this, I'm going to just say something with text-to-speech because that's what a lot of people want to do. Um, they want to either execute, uh, do a keystroke or execute uh, a text-to-speech say. So I'm going to click this. And this is going to bring up the special action, say something with text to speech. And this is going to give myself audible feedback. So I'm going to say this demo has been successful. Now I can preview this uh, if I wish, and I am going to, but I want to first show you that you can choose different voices. Now you may ask, you know, Buona, what voices do you use in your videos and on your live stream? I use Ivona Amy, and this is a voice that you can buy separately from Windows. But if you don't have that, you don't want to buy that voice, you can use Microsoft Hazel, David, some other things that are built in, or use some of the ones that you uh, you purchased previously. I have, I've been playing with voices for a while, so I got quite a few. Um, but my default is set to Amy, so we're just going to do that. So when I click Preview, it should read this back to me. This demo has been successful. And hopefully that came through. I don't know if it did. Um, and uh, hopefully it didn't blast your ears off. <laughs> it did sound kind of loud from my end, but... Um, and you can actually change the rate. This demo has been successful. That's really loud. This demo has been successful. And you just change how it goes. Now there's some options here to wait until speech completes and completes uh, that we'll ignore that for now and just click okay. Now I can optionally give this a description. I highly recommend you document your, your profiles because as they get larger, this is really going to help demo statement for YouTube video. And also you might want to start creating categories in here. So I'll just put this in a category called demo. I'm going to click okay. And now this has been uh, added to my profile and I'm going to click done. And now when I say the word demo, it should say what I programmed it to do. Demo. This demo has been successful. As you can see, it says recognize demo and it read back the text of speech. Now you can optionally in the beta, I don't know if this is in the, in the stable, but you can show, tell it to show unrecognized items. So that when you start saying things, it'll start to tell you what it recognizes and what it doesn't recognize. So since I'm going to be a, a chatty Cathy, I'm going to be like talking my face off in this YouTube video. It's probably going to think I'm saying all kinds of crazy stuff, as you can see. So I'm going to turn that off. So that's a quick overview of how to do a simple trigger 
action and voice attack. I'm going to be continuing this series of videos uh, as many as I can and uh, show you some more advanced features of how to do things. But as you can see, it is really easy to do a simple voice triggered action in this program. This is one from one.tv really quick voice attack primer on how to do some of the basic things with it. Take care.